at the Department of Energy's Carbon Fiber Technology Facility, located at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Experts develop new materials and scale up technologies to advance the production of low-cost carbon fiber. Melt spinning is a convenient and cost-effective way to manufacture a variety of precursor fibers at an industrial scale. One example is polyethylene, a strong lightweight polymer with random molecular structure. Polyethylene pellets are vacuumed into a hopper, which distributes them to a large, single-screw extruder. The extruder begins pushing pellets through a melt line made up of multiple heating zones with increasing temperatures. Pellets soften as they pass through each zone and fully melt before being fed to a metering pump. Since pressure levels can vary from the extruder, the metering pump is used to maintain consistency and ultimately produce a desired filament size. The melted polyethylene moves through a filtration system to remove solid particles such as dirt or sand. The melted plastic is then pushed through a spinneret, a plate with hundreds of passageways determining the number of filaments per strand. The melted pellets form thin filaments, and cold air then rapidly cools the filaments to achieve solidification. At this point, the random molecular structure of the plastic pellets is aligned, increasing the material's strength and usability. The operator then gathers the filaments, using a vacuum to add tension that maintains molecular alignment. The fiber is treated with an oil and water solution to remove static charge. Finally, the precursor fibers are wound around various godets and a spinning spool, the final step before packaging. Spool size can range from 3K filaments per strand and up. The solidified filaments are now called continuous fibers and can be widely used in manufacturing.